Now, Black Lives Matter is uh, rolling into a school near you. Um, If you don't understand the threat that Black Lives Matter is, you need to do your homework right now. New York City, one of the many school systems uh, that is rolling out now, Black Lives Matter themed lesson plans. North Carolina's largest school system in Wake County has launched a website this summer that provides BLM lessons for teachers to use in a classroom and parents to use at home. The website, created by the school system's Office of Equity Affairs, encourages teachers to address the injustices that exist beyond education by the conversations we have with each other, by speaking up when we see hate, by supporting others that oppose racism and oppression, and directly engaging in advocacy work. In other words, they are making your kid into a Black Lives Matter uh, warrior. The site lays out a cult-like recording, uh, recruiting pr- uh, process for students to follow. Step one, recognize your white privilege. Step two, learn the do's and don'ts of being an ally. Step three, recruit more members to learn steps one and two. You know what? I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to. No, uh-uh. You know, I don't know if anybody knows who uh, Patrice Cullers is. But she is the she's the founder of Black Lives Matter, and she has you know been she's on tape saying she is a trained Marxist. Well, here's the here's the great thing: um, if you do just a little bit of homework in 2018 on Democracy Now, in an interview, she also boasted about receiving uh, training from Eric Mann. Now, who's Eric Mann? Well, Eric Mann was just a former member of the Weather Underground, charged with attempted murder of police officers in Boston back in 1969. The Weather Underground was a terrorist organization. Um, but that just doesn't disqualify you from being in Black Lives Matter. That, that, that in fact, will probably push you up towards the top. Um, she is the poster girl now for the school curricula. Her history of anti-Semitism also doesn't seem to bother any administrators. She is a vocal anti-Israel activist, a close ally of the Nation of Islam's founder, Louis Farrakhan. She accuses Israel of ethnic cleansing and racial brutality. Um, She uh, says that the Jewish occupation of Israel, the Jewish occupation of Israel is genocide. uh, And... uh, and uh, she is the one that is uh, being used as the poster child for these for this school curricula that most likely will be in your kids' school this fall. I have to tell you, I I look at the news every day. I see what's happening. I see that the schools in Los Angeles are now saying that they won't reopen unless uh they get some uh they get some concessions for the teachers union so what are the teachers unions what what do they want well they want to make sure that everything is safe they want to make sure that the class sizes they can distance from children and keep children safe blah 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 uh but they also demand a new medicare for all program Uh, and several new state-level taxes on wealthy people, and a federal bailout of the school district. Um, They they also say that uh, uh, all privately operated, publicly funded charter schools need to be closed. Hmm. Huh. They also say police violence, quote, is a leading cause of death and trauma for black people, serious health and moral issue. Um, and they have to shift the amount of money devoted to policing to education and other essential needs such as housing and public health. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not having any of these people teach my kid because they're going to teach your kid to hate you. The, The last thing that they say is, As it stands, the only people guaranteed to benefit from the premature physical reopening of schools amidst a rapidly accelerating pandemic are billionaires and the politicians they have purchased. Are you going to send your kid to a school where your teacher is part of a teacher's union that says this? 
In California, the answer is yes. You need to protect your children. You need to get your children out of there. I know you feel alone. I know you feel... I, you've got to be asking the same questions that I'm asking. What the hell is happening to us? How is this happening so fast? How is it that I all of a sudden am, am deemed the bad guy because I love my country? All the things that I have been taught to do, all the things that I, that I were... That, All of us were taught were true are now being treated as lies. Now I'm being told America doesn't matter. In fact, America is a force for evil and should be destroyed. Am I the only one? We have to search for answers and we have to search for answers together. You have to realize, and so do I, that not everybody is brave enough to understand and accept their nature as human beings. The original principle of man, our purpose on earth, is free agency. That's the simple truth of our existence, that we have free agency, that we have a choice in front of us, that we can choose, we chart our own destiny. And from that principle, every other trapping of a correct human moral code has to follow. This is why we cheer when somebody says the Bill of Rights and they read them. Because that is the blueprint. That is the way we can have our own self-agency and be able to allow others to have it as well. The Bill of Rights speaks to the truth that each of us was born with, that that tiny fraction that we're left, we're coming through the veil in, in our souls. We know this to be true. We know it to be true, that nobody is better than I am. They may be better than I am at, a, at an activity or... They may be richer than I am or smarter than I am, but they're not better than I am. They they don't have any more rights than I have. Together, we have to find that, that principle and find the faith and the courage to stay true to the original principles of man. It's going to get harder and harder and harder. Courage is a muscle. You must exercise it when it's easy and it's getting hard. You have to start exercising it right now. We have to stay true to the principles that we all know are true. We are the authors of our own destiny, not a government, not a school district, not social media. We don't need a king or a government We don't need social media mobs ordering us about dictating what we can say and think and read and believe, how we act, whom we love, whom we marry, how we worship or how we don't. We have to have faith in one another. We have to have the faith that our neighbor is, that can be trusted with the responsibility of guiding their own life. And I know that is hard right now. And it feels like we're alone. It feels that way, I think, to a lot of people. Well, that should tell you something. You're not alone. The America we see on TV and social media, the America that we're told now exists and needs to exist doesn't feel right. It doesn't have the ring of truth to it in any way, shape, or form. It's out of alignment with nature. We've been to places like this before. Maybe not exactly like this, but pretty darn close. We fought wars physically. We fought wars spiritually. We've righted the ship. And if we have faith in one another, 
if we have faith in our God, true, active faith in our God, if we understand the original principles of humankind and human nature, we can and will save the republic. 